Hi there, my name is Anne Marie Gill with Cascade Valley Designs, and today I'm going to be providing you with a video tutorial on how to capture your website logo and place it into your email signature in Outlook. So let's get started. Okay, first you want to open your Outlook. I'm in Outlook 2010 right now, and if you're using Outlook 2007, it may look the same. Any previous versions will look a little different, but you can still follow along on the, in the steps here. So click New Email, then go up here to Signature, and click the last option. It might be the only option you have on Signatures. This window will pop up, and you will see that I have a couple signatures in here already that I use, but we're going to create a new one. And I'm going to call this my kindness Duval signature and I'm going to be using a um, client's website as an example so this is a clean slate here I am writing my signature including my fake email with a real website All right, so that's a good start. Now I want my logo underneath. Now say you have your logo sized the way you want it and saved on your computer. Well, you click this image button over here and you select that image from your computer and insert and that's basically all you do. However, what if you want the logo that is out on your website? So let's go to Rack Duval website. This logo up here in the left hand corner is exactly what I want to put on my email signature. So I'm in Internet Explorer right now and I'm going to right click on the logo and I have this long list of options. There's no option with Internet Explorer to grab the image URL. So I have to go to properties, the very last option on the list, and then you copy this long address URL copy it and you have it saved to your clipboard. Now just to show you what that looks like, there we go. That's the uh, logo that I want to put in my email signature. Now if you are using Firefox, this is Firefox, the option is different. You right click it and copy image location is what you want there. If you're in Chrome, right click and yet a different option. They don't make this easy. Copy image URL and then finally in Safari if you right click the logo the option is copy image address. So um, there you go all four different popular browsers and how to grab your website logo. So let's hop on back over to Outlook and here we are in this window still, a signature window. I've copied that long URL of that image into my clipboard. So all I have to do is do open the image icon again. I'm going to paste that long URL right into the file name box and then click insert. It'll take a few minutes for something to pop up. and the scary looking username password login Windows security pops up. Just ignore it. This is my little workaround. Hit cancel. It probably will pop up again. Sometimes it'll pop up two or three times and then voila it goes in. So just keep hitting cancel and it'll pop up. Highlight the logo which it's already highlighted by default so you can add your website URL. So I'm going to click on the link you always want to make sure that any sort of image, especially your logo, includes your website address on it in case somebody clicks on it, they go to your site. Now I want to style this a little more. I want to put a space there. And I don't like the blue underline. I'd rather make it pink. Go to more colors. Here's a good pink. And that way it matches the styling of the logo a little bit better and that looks good. Another thing you want to do before you hit um, OK is make sure that 
the new logo, I mean the new signature is selected as your default for new messages and replies and forwards. So I'm going to select Kindness Duval, select Kindness Duval for my replies and forwards. Click OK. Here's my email message. I'm going to drop, there it is, that's what it looks like. Now I'm going to give myself a test, show you what it looks like when I receive the email. and here it is and so now when you hit new email it automatically pops up because you've set that as your default so that's it for this video tutorial on how to add your your logo into your email signature in Outlook hope it was helpful thanks